How great would it be to know what high rise living is like without making the move? Well, you're in luck because today I will be your high rise personal connection. By the end of this video, you'll get the inside scoop of what it's like to live in a Las Vegas high rise without dropping a dime. The experience. Living in a high rise is such a fun thing because there's people everywhere. But because of that, I could never just walk Miss Gigi outside. I had to get a little bit ready beforehand. I always woke up in the morning and put my Adidas tracksuit on, my big sunglasses and a little hat. I'd get Gigi ready in her little stroller as she was an older senior citizen Shih Tzu and I would take her down to the dog park. So from my unit, I'd have to go into the elevator, wait to get down, walk across the way to the dog park. The dog park was lovely at One Queens Ridge Place. It was absolutely amazing. It was large. You never felt crowded if there was another dog. So that was really nice. After she did her business, I would put her back in her stroller and then we'd head to the coffee bar. In the morning from about 7 a.m. to about 2 p.m., they have a barista, which makes you espressos. They'll make you different types of coffees. They had nitro cold brew there. They had different types of pastries and breakfast items. And as an owner, or in my case, I was renting, I was able to get a few of those items for myself and my husband. So I'd always get the nitro cold brew because it was delicious. Sometimes I'd get some other things just depending on what I had going on for the day. So I'd load up my little stroller with Miss Gigi inside and then we'd go up to the unit. After going to my unit, I'd get ready for my day. Oftentimes because we were moving and we had a lot going on, I didn't have a printer in my office space upstairs. So I'd go down to the business center and print out whatever I needed. The one thing I loved about about living in this building was the convenience of being able to do that with ease. They have a gorgeous business center where I was able to kind of set up shop and print out whatever I needed to get me going for my day. After that, I would go out and I would go down to my car. The great thing about this building is you have a garage. So I was able to go to my garage, get in my car and leave. Now, if you were someone who liked to experience valet daily, they do have that as part of the HOA and the amenities. For me, I'm the kind of gal that just wants to get in my car and go. I don't want to have to wait for anything. So for me, that's just what I did. But some people do like to use the valet service. So I would go about my day, go on all my appointments, whatever I needed to do. And then I would come home, go upstairs and change and go down to the gym. So depending on where I was with my workout, some days I would go down to the spa and do a nice sauna, nice steam. I would hang out in the indoor jacuzzi and just relax from my day and unwind. Or sometimes I would go into the workout facility and get my workout in. The one mega amazing thing about this building is the fitness facility was top notch. They had tons of weight equipment, tons of cardio machines, and they even had a Pilates studio, which you could use the reformer, which I, I use that reformer like every day. I love that thing. So that was my experience with the gym. Then I would go upstairs and I would get ready to just unwind and spend time with my husband. Now, something I like to share with people is the ease of living there. So if I ever needed groceries, I'm one to use Instacart. I love Instacart. I think Instacart saves so much time and hassle, especially for me. I'm a real estate agent. I'm running around all day. The last thing I wanna do is go to a grocery store. So I would just use Instacart and the Instacart would come in and then they would load up the bell cart and they'd bring that bell cart up and then they would, if I wanted them to, put it on my countertop in my kitchen or the, um, the guys would just you know, put it in front of my doors, just depending on what you're comfortable with. But having that service was so nice because I'd be running around all day, I wanna get my workout in, I wanna catch up on calls. Just doing that piece took a lot off of me because my husband and I tend to eat a lot at home. The other thing I loved is across the street, I had Tivoli Village. So I'd meet my friends often for Ada's happy hour. They have an amazing happy hour there where I was able to get the wine flights, which I love the wine flights there. Um, you get to try different wines, they have different things, and it was such a treat to be able to do that with my friends. We also went to El Dorado Cantina, which is another great restaurant across the way. Cost of living. The number one question I get from people is, how much is the HOA when it comes to high-rise living? Now, when you look at that number, the thing that you need to realize is how much it includes and what it includes. 
A lot of times my clients get a little frantic at that number. And it, the truth is, it is a high number. But if you look at what it costs to maintain a home and live in an HOA association in that home, it's actually not that bad. So for instance, at One Queens Ridge Place, not only do you have cable and Wi-Fi included, you have all the amenities. So I didn't need a gym membership. I didn't need a pest control guy. I didn't need a pool maintenance guy. I didn't need a landscaper. I didn't need those items or services because the building provided that for me. Another amazing thing is I didn't have to worry about breakfast. I didn't have to do my Starbucks run. So that Another great benefit of that building was you had Wi-Fi and cable, you had sewer included, certain buildings have water included, so those bills are no longer. So when you start adding up what the HOA includes and what you'd be paying if you lived in a homeowners association, it's actually not that bad. Some of these buildings even have storage units. So if you're paying for a monthly storage unit right now, your unit may be deeded a storage unit. So that's savings right there. So again, the number one question you need to ask is not necessarily what is the HOA every single month, but more so what does the HOA include? For me, the high association fee was worth it. And I know that might shock some of you, but for me to have the security, to not have to worry about organizing when a pool, you know, pump breaks, or you know, my landscaping has some problems and some of the plants are dead and now I have the HOA sending me letters and fines and worrying me about all these things. At that particular time in my life, I didn't wanna worry about anything else. So to have all of that off my chest, to have the savings in my time and hassle, every penny was worth it. So again, if you're out there and you're interested in high rise living, but those HOA fees scare you, I want you to look at what it includes and add up what you're already paying in terms of the sewer bill, the trash bill, the water bill, your HOA dues, because most homes here in Las Vegas and Henderson have HOA dues. Then you're gonna have all the amenities that you no longer have to pay for, including a gym membership. Some have coffee in the morning, so there's no more you know, going to Starbucks, which is savings right there. So really look into what it includes before you make that decision. I want to know, do you think Las Vegas high-rise living offers good value for the money? Let me know in the comments below. Community and lifestyle. Living in a high-rise building, you're constantly surrounded by the residents. You're seeing them at the coffee bar. You're seeing them waiting at the valet. You're seeing them in the office area or the lounge or even at the pool in the gym. Something I really enjoyed about living in a high-rise building was the social aspect. I was constantly meeting people, talking to people, and we all had one thing in common, which was living in the building. So it was generally easy to meet people and have that point of conversation. Another great thing is many buildings offer social calendars. So the building I lived in had a really nice social calendar and it was a way for the residents to get to know one another, to connect, and also for the building to do something nice for the residents and make them feel special. The benefits. Again, I loved living in a high-rise building for the benefits. I loved the amenities. I loved having a gym that was literally an elevator button down. I loved having the Pilates studio, again, an elevator button down. I loved having the valet convenience and I loved having an area where I could work that was outside of my unit that had access to a printer and desktop computers. I also loved the fact that I was around people all the time and I got to meet some really interesting, unique people because Las Vegas is filled with different people who are CEOs or actors and performers and people who create the shows that we see on the Las Vegas Strip. Just really unique, interesting people that you're gonna meet in these high-rise buildings. Because a lot of people that live in high-rise buildings live there for the convenience. Another benefit is when my husband was traveling, it was really nice to feel like I was in a secure building and a secure place. If I was leaving to meet my girlfriends at Tivoli Village, I knew that someone knew I had left the building and I knew that if something had happened to me and I never came back, that um, you know someone could do something about it. I'm not saying they would, but what I'm saying is that I just had that sense of security. I also loved being in a building that had so many points of security. So when my husband was gone, I was by myself in my unit. I never felt insecure or like 
that someone was gonna do anything because I felt very secure in that building. Another thing I loved was being able to go downstairs and get my coffee. I also loved the movie theater. The movie theater in this building had popcorn. When I wasn't dieting, I was definitely down there getting my popcorn <laughs> and it was something I enjoyed doing. I would get my popcorn and walk Miss Gigi around and we just always had a nice time doing that. I also loved the pet park. It was a nice place for Gigi to go and it was a great way to see her interact with other dogs. Funny story, because of our experience at the dog park, we ended up getting another dog because we saw Gigi interact with other dogs and she seemed to be okay with it. So we ended up getting another dog because of that experience. The downsides. So of course, in any living situation, there are always pros and there are always cons. The con of living in a high rise building and something that I did not enjoy was going up and down the elevator. It was quite frustrating when you forgot something in your car and you had to push an elevator button and wait for the elevator to come up and then go down the elevator and then go. It was like the elevator was part of your lifestyle. And the other thing was always remembering to have my fob with me. If you don't have your fob, you can't use the elevator. Now, if you lost your fob or something happened, you would just go to the front desk and they would assist you. But in my case, you know, going up and down is just took more time than I would like. Another con would be if you're not used to high bills or an HOA or an association, you may not like having all of those rules. You may not like that high fee because you're not used to paying that already. Again, the number one question to ask beyond how much is the HOA every month is what does it include? But in my case, it made sense for our lifestyle. I love the convenience. I love the security. I love the popcorn. I love the nitro cold brew. I love the gym and the spa. There were so many amenities there that I felt like the dollar went really far. But for some other people, they may not care about the gym or having a spa or the security. Like they may not care about any of those things. So that bill doesn't make sense to them. So it really depends on what you're looking for. But for us, it totally made sense. But I can definitely understand if it doesn't make sense if you're not used to or accustomed to or even care to have those amenities. If we haven't met yet, my name is Courtney Bentley and I'm a luxury real estate agent here in Las Vegas. I offer a concierge service to take the headache out of moving to my favorite city, Las Vegas. Let's move on. Personal stories of my experience. Living in a high rise for me is the ultimate way of life. I love the conveniences. I don't mind the high price tag to get everything because I actually use it. But for me, having the business center at the time I had so much going on was such a convenience. We had moved into the building. I was moving out of my home. We had a lot going on and I was still working. I was still servicing my clients out on the field, driving around to different appointments. Having that business center was a game changer for me. I didn't have to worry about getting my printer set up. I didn't have to worry about, you know, figuring out my computer or any of that. I was able to simply email the desktop computer that was in the business center and print out everything I needed in a flash. The other thing was having that coffee bar. I was no longer uncaffeinated. I was easily able to get my caffeine. And something else I loved is I got to meet people in that area. My husband and I met so many great people. We keep in touch with some of them to this day. Another thing I loved is it was so fun to have my friends over and be able to walk over to Tivoli Village and have a couple cocktails and walk home and not even worry. They also have farmer's markets at Tivoli Village. So I would go over there with Miss Gigi. We'd walk around and get some organic fruits and vegetables. It just was a really nice way of life. And I was able to experience that with ease. Like I mentioned before, a big memory for me was watching Gigi get along with another dog. And that was our next step for getting another dog because I watched her be okay with that other animal. She had been alone for so many years. She was old, she was 13 years old. She had some health issues. So seeing her get excited around other dogs really warmed my heart and it was very special to me. And it's why we got Chewbacca, my dog. So um, I'm really glad that we had that experience so we knew it would be okay for her. If you've lived in a high rise anywhere, Comment below and let me know what your experience was. Tips for potential movers. Here are three considerations when it comes to buying in a high-rise building. First consideration is location. 
There are so many different types of high rise buildings here in our city. There's where I used to live, one Queens Ridge Place, which is right outside of Summerlin. We also have the new Four Seasons, which is being built right now in McDonald Highlands in Henderson. And that project is starting to break ground and they are starting to make some sales. And then we have the Downtown Arts District, which is so much fun. If you like to be around creatives and you like to be in the scene and you like to be able to push an elevator button and be at a bar or at First Friday and be in that action, then downtown would be somewhere you'd wanna be. Or do you wanna be on the Las Vegas Strip where getting to the airport is a breeze and being a part of the Las Vegas growth is something that's important to you and you want that Las Vegas Strip view. These are different things to consider. So always look at your options in terms of location because where you live matters. Second consideration, looking at the different HOAs and what they include. I've mentioned several times in this video how important it is to ask the question of what does the HOA include? That fee may not be so exorbitant if you understand that it includes almost everything but your electricity. Because if you start adding up your bills, you might be surprised that your HOA may be exactly what you're paying now or maybe less. I don't know, but that is something to consider. So if you're someone who is more private, you don't like to be in the action, you wanna have a full service building, then a building like Park Towers, which is just right off the strip, could be a great option for you. Or a building like One Queens Rich Place. If you're someone who you know doesn't need a lot of amenities, you just wanna be in a high rise building because you like the convenience, you like that it has a couple of amenities, but you're not looking for the grand list and you want your HOA to be relatively on the lower side, then downtown would be a great option for you. If you're someone who's constantly traveling and you like the lock and go lifestyle, then you're gonna wanna look at some buildings on the strip. Really easy, really convenient, and very easy to get into the action when you wanna be. Number three, you're gonna to wanna to consider the square footage of the unit. There are different buildings around town that have been modeled to mock a single story in the sky. That's what I've coined, by the way. Certain buildings like One Queens Ridge Place and Park Towers and Turnberry Place, these buildings have larger square footage for their units because they're meant to be like single stories in the sky. So if you're someone who wants to live in a larger size unit, there are only a few buildings in town that would definitely cater to what you're looking for. If you're someone who wants to be in the action, more of a lock and leave type lifestyle, you may not want a 4,000 square foot unit. You may want something that's in the, you know, five to 1200 square foot. And that could be at ease too. And there's tons of buildings that offer different types of floor plans that fit that square footage. So again, thinking about what kind of location you wanna be in, what kind of HOA you wanna have. Do you wanna have one that has a ton of amenities, that takes care of everything, five-star building, or do you wanna be in one that's just really conveniently located, doesn't have a high HOA, but it's relatively reasonable, includes a few amenities, nothing spectacular, but decent, or do you wanna be in a building that has a really large square footage floor plan so that you're easily able to transition from a luxury home that could be 10,000 square feet into a 4,000 square foot unit? So these are different considerations you're gonna to wanna to think about before you start your journey into looking at high-rise living here in Las Vegas. How to make the most out of high-rise living. For my clients who've transitioned to high-rise living, many of them tell me, Courtney, I love the convenience of the location. I love the convenience of having a gym, just an elevator right away. I love the convenience of lock and leave and the security that these buildings offer. Again, looking at the three considerations that I talked about is gonna be key to finding a building that aligns with what you're looking for. Being excited to be in a space that has a social opportunity and a social aspect makes high-rise living fun. Being open to exploring the different social events and the social calendar and using the different amenities so that you run into people makes high-rise living exciting. Being in the convenience like a building such as Veer Towers or Waldorf Astoria, where you can just push an elevator button and walk on over to Park MGM and be a part of all that fun, go see a concert at T-Mobile Arena or the Vegas Golden Knights. I mean, that's a whole lifestyle within itself. Certain buildings even offer limo service that can take you to the airport, to the strip, or even a Raiders game. High-rise living is very exciting, and something else that you wanna think about is you're not just buying the unit. 
You're also investing in the building. So being sure that you've explored the amenities, being sure you've talked to an agent who specializes in high rise living, that can be a really big factor in determining what building is right for you. Overall, my experience with high rise living has been something I truly enjoy. I love talking about it. I love sharing my experience. So if you have any questions or comments or just want to know more, definitely comment below or book a complimentary consultation. I'd love to explore this option with you. For more videos about high rise living and relocation tips, check out the videos above. Be sure to scan the QR code here if you'd like to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.